inside my eyes, I did use the NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Primer and this NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I applied this off camera just because I wanted to jump right into the look. I'll be starting off by taking MAC's Soft Brown Eyeshadow and I'm going to sweep this in my crease. And this is going to be my transition shade. And I am using a blending brush. For all the brush details, I will have them down below. To give the eyes more dimension and depth, I'm going to take texture from MAC and be placing this right in my crease instead of using brown. And this does have like a brownish undertone and I think it is absolutely perfect for this look because it's not too much and still looks very fresh. Taking this NYX Infinite Shadow Stick in the shade Rose Gold, I'll be applying this all over my eyelids and this is going to act as a base for our eyeshadow. I'll be going back in with texture on my crease to blend out any harsh lines and I am using a MAC 222 brush. And for more depth on the crease, I did add a little bit of brown eyeshadow. Using this eyeshadow from the Carly Bible palette, I am going to lightly add this on the outer and inner corners of my eyes since it's a bit darker than the rose gold shade we used. Then I'll lightly apply this rose gold shade on the center just for a nice pop. With the white matte shade, I'm going to apply this on my brow bone. Moving on to eyelashes, I am going to curl them for some lift and I'm really going to focus on curling these for a while. I didn't show it on camera though and then I'll be going in with my Stila mascara. This is my favorite mascara right now. I absolutely love it and I'm going to skip out on falsies today so for all my girls that don't like applying false lashes, this look is perfect for you. And then I'll be lining the top waterline with my black eyeliner. Before applying foundation, I'm misting my face with Cinema Secrets Moisture Spray. It's very great for hydrating. For primer, I've been using the Pacifica BB Cream. It gives my skin a very nice glow once I apply my foundation. And for foundation, I'll be going in with the Too Faced Amazing Face Foundation. It's medium coverage and very lightweight. I have dry skin and it gives my skin a very nice radiant look. That's why I love it, but I don't recommend it for people with oily skin. This is a great foundation for more of an everyday wear. And I am using this new brush from Wet n Wild. And I've been using it ever since because it's so good to apply my foundation. And it was only like $2, which is insane. Then with this beauty blender, I just like to run it through my foundation just to pick up any excess product, and it is damped. I'll lightly be dusting my face with the Ben Nye Banana Powder to prevent the foundation from moving. To color correct the darkness underneath my eyes, I love using the NYX Color Corrector in Light. It makes such a huge difference. And for concealer, I've been using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, and I like to apply it with my ring finger because it helps warm up the product and blend easier since it's a thick consistency and can look heavy. To pick up any excess product, I work it in with my Beauty Blender. And to highlight, I use the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Duo. The shade that I use will be down below for any of you guys who are interested. I go ahead and apply this where I want certain features to stand out. For example, underneath my eyes, my forehead, bridge of my nose, and my chin. This is such a great product. It's very lightweight and it doesn't feel cakey at all, which is why I love it. And I like to use my brush to blend it out, then work it in with my damp beauty blender. Taking both of these shades from the Kat Von D shade and light palette, I'll be setting the concealer in highlighted areas to prevent the product from moving and creasing. And I just found my e.l.f. brush, so I've been using this again. 
To bring back dimension, I'll be contouring with the shade Sombre and applying this with an angled brush to give the appearance of cheekbones. I'll also be taking this underneath my jaw and also on my temples. For more depth, I'll apply the ashy tone and run it underneath my cheekbones for more of a natural shadow. Magically, I'll have my brows filled in and my nose contoured. What I used will be down below. With a mixture of texture and soft brown, I'll be applying this to my bottom lash line and I'll also be blending it out. And on my inner corner, I'll be applying Max Nylon. To give the appearance of bigger and brighter eyes, I'm going in with NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Light on my waterline, and then I'll be applying a coat of mascara to my bottom lashes to make my eyes appear bigger. I had no idea what bronzer or blush to use, but after I decided, I added Max Blush in the shade Style. It's one of my favorites since it gives my skin a beautiful glow and color. Then on top, I'll be bronzing with BA Bombshell's Heat Wave Bronzer, and I'll be blending everything out. To highlight, I've been using this creamy highlight from this NYX Cosmetics palette, and this is in the shade Medium, by the way, and I just go ahead and place this right on top of my cheekbones. Oh my gosh, this thing is so beautiful, and I still haven't decided if I really love this palette, but I definitely love the highlight. As you guys can see, it is beaming. I love it, especially for the summer coming up. I just go ahead and blend it all out, and then I'll be taking this rosy shade from the Carly Bible palette, and I'll be placing it right on top of that highlight. It just gives my skin such a beautiful glow that, I don't know, I just, I can't with this highlight. It's so beautiful. I go ahead and just drown my whole face in it. I go over it a couple of times until I am satisfied. Then I just go ahead and blend it all out. To outline my lips, I'm using the Boutique Lip Liner in the shade Natural, and I did pick this up at Sally's. Then taking this Inglot lipstick, I'll be applying this all over my lips and over top. I'll also be applying Kat Von D's lipstick. I'm trying to aim for a peachy nude lipstick. Then I'll be going on top with this Butter Gloss from NYX. I'll have the shade down below, but I am applying this on the center of my lips to make them appear bigger. Then for that peachy undertone that I was looking for, I also applied this Orangey Butter Gloss from NYX. And to seal the deal, I'll be applying my setting spray from Wet n Wild. And I'm so sorry I didn't have an intro or an outro, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Show me all the places I've never known